Good morning. Here we are on another very foggy day. It's 10 o'clock in the morning on Saturday and uh, we are again besieged by uh, fog here in Glasgow. Um, not too um, cold today. Um, not as cold as it was yesterday. That's probably why it was the hot and the cold. And, um, but it's still quite slick. I, didn't, I don't think I mentioned that before. I'm getting the best balance ever. <laughs> because, um, yeah, I, uh, it's, there's actually a really thin layer of, uh, of ice on, on here, uh, which does um, inform my movement. It's actually, uh, to a certain extent, it's, it's really nice because it makes turning really lovely, which is normally um, when you're in bare feet um, is, uh, you know, in, in, a, in a clear surface is really easy to do. Not great in trainers, on, on, uh, not as great on trainers when I'm normally on the surface. So, so that's quite nice. Um, I had a really beautiful uh, day outside, four things I was focusing on for today. And, um, and it, it's quite extraordinary because I'm, 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 I'm getting more into it and also looking up lots of things. <laughs> Lots of things, my etymology dictionary. It's a big conspiracy, <laughs> actually. Mm. Um, something, there, there's some quite interesting uh, events that coalesce, Co coalesce, that come together. And uh, I, uh, the first wish that came through for today was from a friend of mine in Australia. And she asked, she just said, good luck, for, for good luck for this week. And I thought, oh, that's quite interesting. So, yeah, okay, I, I don't know anything more than that. I thought, all right, I'll send her do a good luck dance for her. And um, so it's a bit of a party dance, actually. <laughs> I can always, feel, I can feel like you're here, miss, if you're watching. <sighs> you and mister. Um, and, uh, and that was great. And but it's funny, because I looked up the word luck. <laughs> Surprise, kill surprise. <laughs> and, when you know it, the origin of the word actually means happiness. And it is only, wait for it, in the 17th century that it came associated with money. Not that that's what people always think about in terms of good luck, but lots of times they do. So there was a lot happening there in the 17th century during the, uh, you know, uh, Reform Reformation time. And, and, uh, that was the enlightenment, wasn't it? Only enlightened for some. <laughs> because equally, I looked up, um, I was like, what is the word, where does the word woman come from? You know, because obviously it shares the root with man. And, and the thing is, I love men. It's like, I don't have, well, I mean, it's not, uh, that's a bit of a bold thing. I love all people, like, because I have a lot of love in my heart. But um, in terms of, I, I am, I am, so fortunate to have so many extraordinary men in my life so when I say these things some people think that it's it's in a way to the exclusion of the other half of our gender and in actual fact what I'm trying to do is is just make it more inclusive for my gender because our language is so sexist <laughs> I'm just discovering this it's like amazing all happened in the 17th century which uh, so the word woman is which derives from um, of course the word meaning wife which of course is related to ownership um, and and all that hoo-ha which again comes down to the idea of the commodity of life again here we go and uh, but it replaced uh, words um, that were the derivative of queen imagine that one take that one and chew on it why don't you <laughs> can you imagine um, if, if we refer to all the women in our life as queen, not princess, because that is a derivative of prince. But queen, it is uh, something that exists in and of itself, as does king. And I think that that is something worth considering because that has a very, very big energy to grow into. And I think that is quite magnificent, actually. So there's that. So anyway, but, uh, but, but I digress, but I digress. So, that, so, uh, so I was dancing for, uh, for my friend in Australia and for her luck and um, then for another friend of mine um, whose children are, are struggling a bit so I, I did a dance, a celebratory uh, dance for them 
um, so that they may have clear energy and not feel any strain at this time. And, and, and that is in and of itself luck, because that's happiness. That's what, you know, it's like, it's thing about how I didn't look up happiness, I need to do that. <laughs> right? Ah, I'm falling behind. And, uh, and then I got um, uh, an email from uh, a friend of mine in, in the States, whose friend, who I, whom I don't know, uh, is going through um, uh, chemotherapy. And, um, and so that was the first answer I did, actually. And, and honestly, it was a very, a really moving experience for me doing that dance. For whatever reason, I felt in the beginning, I was almost on the verge of tears when I was doing it. And um, I've never had that before. Um, and, and, and by the end, there was kind of a sense of, of, of peace and, and and calm and comfort and uh, so that that was that was for her and um, and then for another friend of mine who's had just had knee surgery and, uh, and so I, I danced for him and uh, I sent some joy around around that healing process as well so it was and then I danced for myself because I think it's important to release all these uh, visitors as it were <laughs> and and come back into this moment into this space uh which is how i ended and, and was uh dancing to some i think it was bulgarian hip-hop i'm not exactly sure but it was somewhere over there and uh, it was quite fun and just getting really silly and so that's that's how i ended it so uh great a really really great day today um I love coming down here, it's great, I, and I'd be happy to see you if you want to come down and have a boogie as well, if you have any wishes, you want me to dance. Most amazing thing, when I was dancing for the woman with chemotherapy, it was like a constant flurry, not flurry, a constant like um, birds overhead, just like, it was like seas, a sea of birds going from um, west to east hundreds of them, hundreds of them. Quite quite amazing actually. And now there's only an occasional uh, one or two. So it's, it's quite an atmospheric morning. It's like Sherlock Holmes morning. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, but yeah, a lot of joy in my heart today. A lot, a lot of joy in my heart. And that is a wonderful way to start the day. So I wish you well, lots of love and See you tomorrow. Bye.